Hey guys, Amanda Nelson here, I'm the managing editor of Book Riot, and I am here today with a quarterly unboxing. So our young adult quarterly box went out a couple of weeks ago, and I wanted to give everyone enough time to get there so that this video wouldn't be a spoiler. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard of it, our young adult quarterly box is a surprise package we send out every three months containing usually two to three YA novels, and some bookish swag items for your reading life. We also have a mainline quarterly box for uh, adult literature, so I'll leave the links to sign up or look for more information about both of those in the show notes below. So this is what the uh, box looked like this time for the YA box. It's a lot thinner than the last ones. I've already opened it because it takes me forever to get these things open for some reason, and I don't like struggling on camera. I have my pride. So this is what it looks like when you open it. On top is the letter that comes with each box that lets you know the theme. Every box has a theme uh, and it includes a list of all, and an explanation of all the contents. The theme for this box is friendship. The complexities and joys and sorrows of teenage friendship. There are three books in this one. That's awesome. Oh, I've heard of this. The first one is Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. I've actually seen YouTube videos about this book. I haven't read it. I haven't read any of these three. I love when that happens. That's the great thing about the YA Quarterly Box. Our, the person who um, curates it at Book Riot, her name is Kelly Jensen. She used to be a young adult librarian. She's so deep into the YA world and knows so many titles that I haven't even heard of, much less read, and she tries really hard to make sure that the Quarterly Box will include titles that are new and interesting and probably have flown a little bit under the radar. So if you're an avid YA reader, you can bet that you're still probably gonna get books in the boxes that you don't own yet. So Everything Leads to You. This is a lesbian romance novel. Um, I think I think that the main characters are just out of high school, so they're like 18, uh, but it also has a really great plot line about friendship. Chasing the Shadows by Swati Avashti. The, oh, the, a bullet changes everything. Oh, how dramatic. Corey, Holly, and Savitri are closer than family until a random act of violence shatters their world. Hmm. Okay, so a gunman shoots at their car. One of the kids dies, one of the kids is in a coma, and then the other one is the sole witness. When Holly comes out of the coma, it looks like she's determined to hunt down the gunman um, no matter what it costs, so sounds very dramatic. Chasing shadows. Okay, the last book is A Sense of the Infinite by Hilary T. Smith. It looks like, so I've read the, uh, the jacket here, and it looks like this book is about two friends in high school, and then one of the friends starts to drift away, gets a boyfriend, starts making plans that don't involve the main character, and she has to learn how to deal with that. And this book actually came with a couple of extras. Um, a signed book plate from the author. Mm -hmm and postcards with quotes from the book on it. The mysterious thing about love is that you don't have to know what you're doing in order to do it exactly right. Oh, that's nice. And there are actual post postcards like that you can mail. All right, now as far as the actual swag goes, we've got a set of 50 book cards from Knot and Bow. Oh, and these are cards designed to look like library cards. And you got a lot of colors in there. Let's open it up! They really do just look like little library cards. Old school library cards for checking out books. So that's cool. I bet you could use these as book plates. Or they would make a really interesting bunting for crafting if you wanted to hang them up. Lots of things you can do with that. Okay, and the last thing is from French Bowl. It's an LED clip light for e-readers and books. Oh, that's neat. It's cool that you can use this on your e-reader. I've never seen a book light for e-readers before. And that's it, that's our quarterly box this time around. Um, three books, not bad. Some cards and a cool book light. If you have any questions about the quarterly box, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them myself. And I will talk to y'all later.